And thank you for tuning in. I am Dave from the Kodo with some more Plants vs. Zombies 2. Uh, today we're going to be working on Pirate, Pirate Seas Day 4. We just got the spike weed, so that's definitely going to be something we're going to need in this level. And as you can see, we have two open spots there. Uh, so we're definitely going to want to get the walnut to slow guys down. We're going to go with that. We're going to want the spike weed because you can see that there is a barrel guy there and he breaks the barrel. And then we're going to go with the bomb. We're going to forego the bomb this time. Just because they're half of the level, you can't place the potato bomb or the potato mine on like the, the wood part that's above the water. So we'll have to alter our strategy here a little bit. We're going to want to get walnuts down uh, in the sections that don't have the wood above the water because the zombies will be able to get extremely close in those sections very quickly. So our strategy is a little bit different here, and we do have two waves that are going to be coming, so we need to be prepared for those. Uh, iceberg lettuce is always a good one for freezing everybody on the level. We need to get our first plant food here. And I'm going to try and go between five and seven sunflower if I can get... I can get enough protection with that level of sun, then we're good. I do want to freeze him. Give my uh, peace bitter a little pea shooter a little bit more time. Okay, we want to make sure these guys can handle it while we just build up some sun for a little bit. This is where we're going to want a walnut so we can slow that guy down who's flying over. That guy got a little too close. I'm going to freeze him real quick. And now we're going to want to start to build up some attack very quickly because we're coming up on one of the first waves. Do you want to get another walnut down on the bottom? And some more plant food. And our first look at a rolling barrel. So we're going to put down the spike guy right there. Get another walnut down here on the bottom. Now these rolling guys do some decent damage. So you're definitely going to want the spikes. And you can see they broke open and created a couple more. I'm going to freeze everybody for a second. Just to give everybody a chance to catch up. My preference will be to use the plant food on the walnuts. Okay, and here comes the first wave. And there's a barrel, which we'll take out. Heavy, heavy onslaught here. We should be able to handle. Might want to freeze everybody. We will. Just because we have... We just got our third plant food. Yeah, we're, they're keeping us very stocked on plant food, which is very good. Another barrel. There we go. A 
creates those two little baby zombies, which are extremely annoying. Alright, now we're just going to build up attack. Five sunflowers, plenty right now. So, uh, we have too many. Let's just get some sun. They're just feeding us plant food like crazy, so we'll use it. Oh, there's more. Let's do this, and let's freeze everybody. Give everybody a chance to catch up. If they're going to keep giving us plant food, we'll keep using it. There's another barrel. At least we popped one of the little guys off into the water there. Why don't we freeze everybody for a second again? And we just got another one. They're giving us very stocked full of plant food for that freezing ability. Uh, one more time, because that bird's coming. Oh, that guy is immune to being... Immune to being frozen, because he's flying. And here come a ton of zombies for the final wave. So we're going to want to take care of those barrels as quickly as possible. Why don't we freeze everybody? Extremely powerful tool. So, basically with this one you want to make sure that you do have the spike weed, you have the walnuts to slow them down, and you have the ability to slow everybody down completely so that you're not overwhelmed. So with the iceberg lettuce. As you can see, they did have a ton of plant food given to us the entire match. I thank you for tuning in. If this was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Check out my other videos for Plants vs. Zombies 2. And like always, good luck and have fun.